What's up guys, it's your girl Nicole and you're watching Nicole Loves OnlyFans. Alright, so before we start the video, please make sure you hit the subscribe button, give me a like on the video so you can get updates on all your favorite OnlyFans models and what they're doing, what they're working with on their OnlyFans page, okay? So today we are going to do a review on Veronica Parasso. I think that's how you pronounce it. Y'all know I'll be messing with these people's names. But Veronica, I saw her honestly on World Star. Don't judge me. Yes, I am subscribed to World Star on Instagram. So, yeah, so I saw her and I was like, I swear I've seen this chick before. And then just something about her said OnlyFans to me. I don't know what it was. I don't know what it could quite be, but <laughs> something about her said, hey, she has an OnlyFans. And basically to sum her up, she's a tiny chick with a big butt. I mean, and that's just pretty much what it is. She has a great tight little body with, you know, cute little cheeks. So yeah, she's looking very, very nice. Very nice. So we're gonna go and check out her uh, OnlyFans page, see what she's working with, okay? So I think she has a link tree, let's see. Link tree, yep. So she has looks like four different outlets. Uh, let's see, she has a YouTube. <laughs> Nicole loves YouTube, as we do. That's where we're at, right? Um, does she have any videos? No, <laughs> no videos. Okay, no videos on YouTube. Uh, that's okay. Uh, let's see, TikTok. TikTok usually doesn't allow any too much funny business, so they'll they'll take you off. So I don't expect to see anything risque on TikTok. Oh, by the way, her handle on TikTok is Veronica period Fozzy. FYI, so there's a video of her like shaking her little butt. Cool. So it doesn't look like we're seeing any nudity or anything like that. Not that we expect to on TikTok. Oh, okay, we got a little, few little cheeks hanging out here. So yeah, she, her bio looks amazing. Okay, and then let's go to Twitter. I'm scared of Twitter. Twitter is, Twitter is like the wild, wild west. There's no regulations, no nothing on Twitter. Oh wait, before we go that, let me tell you her handle on YouTube, if you want to subscribe to a channel with no videos, is Veronica Parasso. <laughs> FYI. Alright, let's check out Twitter. Twitter just... Okay, so handle on Twitter is Veronica Parasso. I'm going to scroll down and see what it is, because a lot of times Twitter is has some very X-rated material. I'm afraid. Okay. So we're scrolling. Not too bad. Definitely a little bit riskier than her other platform. So we saw this one on Instagram. Okay, yeah, it's getting a little bit more hot and heavy. Okay, not too. Oh, wow. Okay, so. It's a little bit riskier. Um, I don't see any full-fledged nudity, but as you keep scrolling, God only knows. But hopefully it's more, there's more on her OnlyFans page, right? Okay, let's get to it, OnlyFans. All right, OnlyFans. On OnlyFans, she's a Veronica Parasso. It's pretty easier to find her from platform to platform. Okay, let's read her description. All right, chat one-on-one -on -one with me, exclusive new content, access to exclusive, not suitable for work content you won't find anywhere else. Pushing my boundaries daily, get to know me. This is the only platform where I respond to every message and build personal relationships. Okay, then you know, they got the standard copyright disclaimer. Uh, all right, so her subscription fee is $5 for 31 days. We like that. We like that. You know I'm a little frugal. Uh, final price is five dollars and thirty cents. So um, make sure we don't 
show anything we don't want to show. <laughs> uh, so anyway, we'll start off with post count generally before you subscribe like I did. Uh, you want to check the post count because, you know, that kind of just tells you what you're getting and, you know, what kind of content there is available. Looks like she has a lot of videos. She has 327 videos. That's the healthy amount for an OnlyFans page. So, yeah, I like it. Thumbs up on that. So now I'm going to scroll through and see what this Veronica is working with. Let's see if. Let's see if she earned that five whole dollars. <laughs> All right, and so I just want to take a pause and notice that uh, I think the last person I reviewed, I can't remember who it was, they had like a menu. Um, Susie, uh, meet Susie Marie. She had a menu, and so um, Veronica has kind of a menu too. Six dollars tip for two surprise news, 11 tip for a surprise video, 20 tip for a surprise bundle, 25 tip for a, for a rating on your genitals. Uh -huh. Just wanted to throw that out there. Let's keep it pushing. Okay, guys, so I just finished going through Veronica's OnlyFans page, and let me say she's absolutely beautiful, her body looks amazing. Uh, however, if you go to her OnlyFans, it's basically a bunch of tweet of teasers, right? So there's like pictures of her like self-pleasuring, her with one of those little machine things um, that people love. Those are so weird to me. Um, like stuff like that, like self-pleasure, nudes, touching, sexy angles, all that jazz. But everything like is blurred out or there's like an emoji over it so like if she has a crotch shot there's gonna be like a smiley face over it and what I'm guessing happens is that you have to then go and pay to see the additional content now it is a little bit more than on the Instagram because the Instagram is just you know nice photos like this sexy pictures so it's definitely uh, explicit content however yeah I don't know I just feel like I kind of feel like you could get just as much on Twitter. I, I really do. I feel like with what I saw on her Twitter, it's very reminiscent on what's on Twitter, which is for, 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 for free. Um, so yeah, now, but what I will say is that, you know, it's only five bucks and then you do get the opportunity if you would like to purchase additional content to then go and purchase additional content which i'm not sure if you can do that on twitter probably not so you are getting a little bit more you are getting a little bit access and you're getting more of what is on twitter okay so you, there's some of that on twitter and then there's more of it on only fans so you are getting more for your money uh as far as the uniqueness of the content yeah i'll say it's unique for the most part, like I said, it's very similar to what you're getting on Twitter, but it's more of it. And obviously some of the stuff is like unique. Like there's one particular video where she has like whipped cream here and whipped cream, you know, down below. <laughs> so, you know, it's, that's kind of hot and sexy. Um, so I will say it's unique, even though it's exceptionally, even though it's super similar to what is already on Twitter. I'll just say that. Uh, so I'll give it the thumbs up for the most part for that um, quality of the content. It was cool. Well, I guess cool. Like I don't know. It was. It didn't. She didn't have anything that particularly stand out. Uh, her picture quality is nice. I mean, it's a lot of her her booty, which I mean, that's fine. <laughs> no problem with that. A lot of butt shots. A lot of you know halfway twerking. Not quite there, but you know you get the point. But she looks good so i'll say yes in the quality too so all that encompass do i recommend veronica parasso's only fans page i'll say i'll give it like a week yes like a week yes um because she looks good and, and if you do want to have a chance to purchase like her additional content you can do it there and you can't do that on other outlets so you know what yeah you're only paying five dollars so i really don't expect like the full shebang and her to be doing full on scenes and stuff like that for five dollars for so what you get it's like okay i kind of just feel like a little bit neutral on the page like i didn't absolutely love it but i do think she looks good 
and yeah I just wish these girls would like stop like I understand why they do stuff on Twitter but I just don't understand why you're putting stuff out on Twitter for free and then charging on OnlyFans for like the same content or sometimes even less content so I don't know that's not really that's just weird to me to me your OnlyFans should be your exclusive content everything else should be tweezers to lead people to your OnlyFans but hey, maybe that's just the business side of me. So I'm gonna say neutral on it. I think she's beautiful. I mean, her body looks great. You're gonna see, you know, a little bit of action, but you know, I don't know. If you're being cheap, just head over to Twitter. <laughs> okay, uh, so that's the end of my review. Once again, if you haven't already, please make sure you hit the subscribe button because we're doing 31 videos, 31 days for the month of January, 2020. So stay with me y'all, more videos to come. I will see you tomorrow.